Welcome back, everybody, to the OHA. Uh, I apologize for the delay in this week's PNP. Uh, I had a very busy weekend with life, uh, my little one's birthday, and I've been uh, quite sick. <laughs> so it was a terrible combination. Uh, but we're here to do some chatting and talk about some things going on in the hobby and uh, in the world of Tolkien. And uh, we'll get the formalities out of the way today because I'm not feeling the best. <laughs> I went with a uh, classic Canadian rye and water. Uh, just hoping to clear out clear out the sinuses a bit. But uh, cheers. Oh, it does the job nicely. Okay, uh, so lots to talk about. Uh, it's been a very busy... Very busy little bit in the uh, in the Tolkien world, I guess would be the best way to put it. Uh, as for those of you who don't know uh, or haven't been following the Facebook groups and the discussion going on there, Christopher Tolkien has stepped back from the Tolkien estate, uh, and it sounds like there is going to be a TV production created uh, within the Lord of the Rings uh, slash Hobbit universe. Um, Still some discussion about the exact time period and when it's going to take place and what it's going to cover. Um, you know, uh, mixed feelings on it for sure. I know me personally, uh, I'm a little leery. Uh, I think one of the best things about um, the Tolkien universe was that it hadn't been abused and, uh, you know, sort of pillaged and plundered. Um, you know, very uh, very little room for misinterpretation Um you know, because it was protected so well. Uh, so I'm, I know personally, me, I'm a little concerned for the, for the brand and uh, for the story and seeing what, you know, what people are going to do. Uh, you know, as with anything in this world, once it becomes strictly about money and, and no longer about the, the love of something, um, you know, poor choices can be made for sure, without a doubt. Uh, hoping that's not going to be the case, hoping that somebody is going to be there to, um, steer the boat, I guess, uh, and someone who is, has a vested interest in, in Tolkien and, and his world. Uh, I certainly don't want to see it, um, I don't want to see it become a, uh, for lack of a better word, a Star Wars, where it's just something that's going to be flogged for money. Um, you know, I am most certainly a Star Wars fan. Am I a big fan of what they're doing with it? N not necessarily, you know, uh, it sounds like there's going to be some pretty drastic changes, but that's sort of what can happen, you know, when you span the original, uh, story into, you know, someone else's interpretation. So, uh, definitely hope there's some protections there. Um, the one positive for sure, without a doubt, at least I'm hoping is going to be, uh, GW's rights and access to, this sort of new material uh, and whether maybe those uh, the restrictions that GW has are, are going to maybe lighten up and they can have a little more free reign to you know cover some different times and, and different events and things like that um, not sure what exactly they're tied to legally um, you know but I would hope that if whatever is going to come out is done well that GW is obviously going to get the rights for the game, uh, you know, or the ability to produce miniatures based on the story, and and hopefully it's just done well. Hopefully it's they maintain the same aesthetic throughout the TV show that they had in the movies, um, you know, with the caliber of the t television programs that are being put out, uh, you know, Game of Thrones, Walking Dead, that kind of thing. Uh, everything is is such high end now. Um, one would hope that that this is going to get that style of treatment. Uh, I think it's safe to assume that it will, but you know, there's always always concern there, and there's always risk for it to uh, to degrade into you know something subpar. Which I know for a vast majority of us hobbyists out there who are you know Tolkien purists, um, you know, we're not going to want to not going to want to see that. You know, I know for that matter that there's even some parts of PJ's interpretation <laughs> in the book, uh, sorry, in the movies that um, you know certainly still rub people the wrong way, but. Uh, Hopefully that can be avoided, for the most part at least. Oh, pardon me, guys. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's it's an interesting time for sure. One to be, you know, you can you can def definitely be a little uh, little leery in some cases, but uh, most definitely at least excited to see the possibility of new content, new stories, new uh, new direction, right? Um, you know, and with G GW ramping up the way they have GW Forge World. Uh, the Middle Earth team ramping the game back up and, uh, you know, giving it the treatments they've been giving it. I think it's perfect timing. Um, you know, this this could be a major boon for 
the hobby um, and for, you know, sort of our, our numbers and amount of people to play. Uh, you know, if it can be used to drum up interest into the game and uh, get new players in, then I am all about that and uh, happy for it. So um, enough about that. There's lots to come. Go read up on it. I'm not going to pretend to be an expert on, on all of the discussions and talks that have been going on, um, you know, legally and, and stuff like that with regards to it. Go read it online. Um, you know, they never lie online. So <laughs> whatever you read out there is going to be true, I guess. But uh, go check it out. Uh, read up about the Tolkien estate. Um, you know, uh, Christopher Tolkien leaving, and then, of course, the new Amazon, um, or no, it wasn't Netflix, I think it is Amazon that got it. Uh, but either way, not, not 100% sure, go check it out. Uh, but exciting times for the hobby, to be sure. Um, this week on the bench, I have been working on my Iron Hills, um, in sort of, uh, uh, what are they called, sub-assembly form. So, giving that a try, I'm on the fence, um. I like it in that I can use my airbrush a lot more, which is fun for me because, uh, you know, it can get a little tedious doing 24 dwarves, um, you know, putting on that much chain mail with a brush. So pretty excited about that. So it's going well. Um, I actually unwrapped something uh, and I thought about doing an unboxing, but I think a lot of guys have already done it, but, uh, you know, whatever. Um, this, this little gem, some of you may recognize might know know him better by this picture but uh yeah thinking about maybe getting a crack on him uh and i'm not gonna lie the most exciting part about this model i feel for me at least is going to be painting the base <laughs> the base in this miniature is so bloody cool uh i am really really looking forward to uh giving it a crack and and seeing how it goes uh there was one thing that I did want to question on camera uh, as I open this and, and look at it, and that is the crispness of the detail on the round base that uh, that he's mounted directly to. Forgive the noise here. Uh, just in looking at it, mine seems a bit light, but I, I haven't had a close enough look at, at another one to know if that is, you know, what, what I would deem as normal. It seems a little uh, subdued, I guess would be the best way to put it, but that could be the age of the cobblestone, perhaps, you know, they were going for that look. Just a question I had, if any of you guys want to chime in, I'd appreciate it. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting a crack on him. Uh, I think maybe I'll start with, uh, I will most definitely start with, uh, you know, cleaning him up, obviously give him a bath and, and get an undercoat on him, but uh, that's sort of what's on the bench for PNP this week just because I wanted to change um, dwarves it's a lot of dwarves man a lot of dwarves <laughs> um, I want to get them done but uh, I also don't want to get to the point where I'm frustrated painting them so uh, you know a little bit of break uh, with a different model I think will be fun uh, this guy is going to be pretty well a display piece for me I actually have absolutely no elves uh, other than high elves um, but I do not have any of the hobbit era Elves, as of yet, uh, unknown as to whether or not I'm going to uh, gonna get them. You know, I'm not a big fan of the pointy-eared, faithless sprites. But uh, anyways, we'll see. This one was sort of uh, pushed upon me as it was such a great deal. George got a line on it, and uh, I got him for a steal. So I could not pass up the opportunity. But... Um, yeah, not sure if I want to go with uh, with a Mirkwood army or not. Not really my my flavor or style. Um, I'm really loving loving the way the Iron Hills play. Really enjoy them. They're they're very fitting to my <laughs> to my personality. Uh, particularly Dane being able to headbutt somebody is uh, just about the best thing ever. But uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's sort of what's going on this week. As far as news in the hobby goes locally, uh, what with it. Uh, being the holidays coming up, things are obviously going to slow down a bit. Um, you know, family time and all that important mumbo jumbo. Uh, with regards to events, I think there's still the fight to the falls, which is going to be December the second in Niagara Falls. Um, so apparently, they've uh, Taylor uh, has dug up quite the booning community in in Niagara uh, that apparently wanted an event hosted there. So kudos to him for doing that. Uh, they're going to be out there. I cannot uh, attend. I don't. Uh, I'm not sure if George is going either. Um, 
which is a shame because I haven't been able to throw dice uh, basically since Council of the Wise. Uh, George has held a couple of games and I got another bat wrap up, which is friggin' awesome. Uh, pretty excited about that. Uh, nice to see content getting put up uh, by the other guys and and OJ Tyler, man, jumping in, you know, uh, full bore, which is great. Great to see. Great to have another voice on the channel and uh, have guys uh, contributing that way is uh, absolutely awesome. So. Um, December 2nd, Fight to the Falls. You're going to want to check it out uh, if you're around or available or want to play. Go uh, take a look at the OSBGL site. Uh, I'm sure some of the regulars will be in attendance. Uh, you know, uh, the like of Don, Andrew Brock, um, Garrett, uh, all those fine, upstanding gentlemen uh, will be present, I would assume. Uh, but go check it out. If you can make it, go make it. If you can't, uh, have a pint, do some painting. That's, uh, that's going to be me after the family Christmas. Um, but, uh, yeah, so for the OHA, pretty slow. I know George is still going to be cranking out some games nights. I'm hoping to actually be able to get up and get the one. Uh, this week's a write-off for me because I'm working this weekend. Um, so I don't know if he's hosting another one or not. But rumor has it that maybe the following week he'll be back down here at the Forge and uh, maybe we'll get another bat wrap in on the table, uh, which would be good. But uh, maybe we can uh, open it up, you know, to suggestions, scenario, and point value. If you guys want to uh, chime in and give us your two cents on what you want to see on the bat rep, give us a scenario of your choice and uh, and a point value. That would be cool. We'll uh, we'll pick them up from the comments, if any. If not, we'll just drink more beer. That's it. Uh, what else? I think that's uh, really all I wanted to cover today on PNP. Pretty light day. Light day in the forge. I'm uh, going to do some painting. Sputs around. It's been been really nice, really relaxing to to be able to sort of work at my own pace uh, and not really have the pressures of uh, needing to get something done. Um, so it's quite nice. Uh, I'm just cleaning the airbrush right now. She's up soaking, so I'm gonna go finish that. Get the airbrush put back together. Lay on some base coats. Maybe uh, prime up uh, Mr. Threndwool over here, and uh, maybe. We'll do a little bit of a video vlog following along. I know Damien was taking a crack at him, uh, so maybe I'll go watch some of his stuff. Uh, or I don't know, I think it's just on the two time zones that he was talking about that. I don't know if there's an actual video or if he's posting pictures, but uh going to need some inspiration. Um, see how I want to do them. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll film something there, post it up, keep you guys in the loop. Anyways, thanks for stopping by for PMP. Quick one this week. Um... Go check out the story about Tolkien. Uh, chime in, you know, get on, get in on the discussion, and let your thoughts be known. But I most certainly hope that uh, that it means good things for GW uh, and for the game. So, cheers, guys. Have a great one. We'll catch up soon.